So right now we have this drug, T-Zealed, that's approved to delay the onset of type 1 diabetes. Now the new indication that they're probably going to get approved for is people that have new onset type 1 diabetes. So Steve, what does that mean? For you and I, crash and burn, diabetic ketoacidosis, admitted to the hospital for a couple of days, discharged on insulin. Yeah. When you're diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, you have 10 to 20% of your beta cells that are still left. And that's why people typically go into this honeymoon period after they're diagnosed, they don't need... Uh, much insulin at all sometimes can come off of insulin completely. Steve always gets jealous that I was off of insulin for almost a year. I don't get that. Why is your honeymoon better than mine? I, I don't know. But the video we did on this was awesome. Eric came down with type 1. We jumped into action. We carried him away to the hospital to preserve those remaining beta cells. And, and that's it. So those remaining cells are worth saving. And if you don't do anything, they die, you know, gradually over time. The honeymoon always ends, as we say. But this drug now <laughs> has been shown to essentially kind of preserve that honeymoon period, preserve insulin producing beta cells. You would get it essentially right when you were diagnosed. And again, another infusion six months after diagnosis. And finally, here we have something that people can do when they're diagnosed. Yes, you need a CGM and you need insulin, you need to control your blood sugars, but here's a drug that actually affects the disease itself. And is it a cure? No, but it's a first step in terms of what can we actually do to slow down the, the progress of this terrible disease?